welcome back to tech logic guys so today we will see how we can host a static website on our aws s3 bucket like most of you who are new to this aws uh, cloud thing that think that uh, this uh, s3 bucket is only used for storing our files just say like example your images your videos etc but there are many features inside s3 bucket and one of the most important feature is static website hosting yes you can also store, so host your static website on the AWS S3 bucket and it's very simple to be honest. What you have to do is to let me show you. Okay, without wasting any time, let's start with the tutorial. You can see I'm on my AWS console right now. So let's go to S3 and create a bucket. I'm going to name this bucket as, as static website hosting hyphen one two three and make sure this name is uh, globally unique across uh, all aws accounts okay and i don't want to keep the versioning i don't want to log the requests and click next yes i'm you see by default or uh, your s3 bucket is private so i'm changing i'm untaking this option it is saying that if I untick this my content inside my S3 bucket will become public and for this tutorial I want that I acknowledge yes click next create bucket so now your bucket has been created you see here static website hosting hyphen one two three click here go to properties you see this option static website hosting click here and uh, I want to use this bucket uh, to host a website okay so for this for hosting you need two documents basically one is the index document that is the front page of your website and the other one is error HTML or the error page when your website is down so I'm gonna say my index document is index.html and error is error.html and uh, I'm gonna save here now you see we, yeah static website hosting is enabled for this particular s3 bucket now what you have to do you have to upload two files that is index.html and error.html that will serve as the front page as well as the error page of your website respectively so come here inside this I'm going to s3 folder I'm gonna create a new document and I'm going to name this document as index.html I'm going to create another document and uh, let's name this document as error.html so let's put something inside this index.html I'm going to open this with Vim editor as I'm using Ubuntu so we're going to create one simple heading only you can add your content according to your needs but for this particular demo i'm just gonna say this is our first page of s3 bucket website hosting okay and uh, yes and just close the html box here yeah that is sufficient similarly edit this content with vim editor again and wait yes html said so this is the error page of my website close this tag as well and then close the html tag close this file now our two files are ready now what we have to do we just have to upload this file click add go to your music s3 folder select these two files and just upload to this your s3 bucket yes next next and upload yes and now upload is done so let's check here whether this is public or not you see here this is saying access denied 
because as I told you when uh, whenever you upload any object in your S3 bucket it is private by default so what I have to do is first I have to make this public let's go again here and uh, make this public to our error page now come to the S3 console go to properties and grab the URL of our static website hosting you see this is the endpoint or you can say the URL of your static website hosting I'm gonna click on this right now let's check yes now it is saying this is our first page of s3 bucket website hosting this is the URL of your website hosting you can change this URL as well you know by I will make a separate video on this like hosting a static website using s3 bucket and CloudFront. that will be another video we will see how we can host this similar website using s3 bucket and CloudFront too but for this particular video this is enough yeah this is the URL of your website and if you want to go to your error page simply type error dot HTML you see this is the error page of my website and this URL is public if I grab this URL copy this open this in new tab it will see it is accessible from everywhere now so now you have hosted a static website on your s3 bucket and yes this is pretty much it for this tutorial thank you so much guys please subscribe to this channel because the mm, upcoming content is going to be purely on aws devops uh, power bi machine learning python etc and if you have any doubt please connect to uh, us on instagram at the tech and we will hope to see you guys again thank you so much